Jumbo from Animal Kingdom. We are about to pop in here for a couple of hours. It's gonna be a really short day at Animal Kingdom. We have plans for later on. I believe we got up and going and that's this we park got before up at 8 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, we got up at 6 o'clock. Technically, 6.30. <laughs> There's that bougainvillea. My mom loves this bougainvillea that grows. And she just thinks it's the most beautiful flower. Every time we come to Animal Kingdom, mom's mom says, you like that bougainvillea right there. Don't you think that'd be pretty on your house? And then your mom's like, what's that stuff that's for rich people? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. started off on Navi River. Now we're heading straight over to the safari. We're getting those two things knocked out. And then it's just kind of a, I don't know really what we're gonna do next Those are while. the two main things that Shepard loves to do here. So we always try to get those done pretty quickly. Well, if we are in Pandora, that means that Britt has to get a night blossom, even at 8.22 in the morning. Excuse me, ma'am. I just think it's a bit early in the morning to start drinking. Can I get you a breakfast sandwich? <laughs> have a Marshall's favorite sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit here. Which I've never seen because we're never here this early. Wow. It's only seven bucks. So I'm going to get you a cheaper one. I'm going to get a night blossom. Not alcoholic, but I want a night blossom. First thing in the morning, they're my favorite. There you go. Is this your favorite? Well, I'm pretty sure we forgot to show you what the sausage biscuit looked like, but Jared, like Jared loved it. Did you get that yesterday in the UK at Epcot? He has carried this double decker bus around. It's like a good heavy duty one too. It's like metal and it, you roll it back and it shoots. We found it yesterday in the UK pavilion. Anyways, I found it in there. They also have a ton of new perfume in there. They have all the perfume that the, the king has commissioned and then Kate Middleton has commissioned. And they had a whole like collection of it that was based off of Downton Abbey. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. All right, it's just me and Jared this trip, so we don't have anybody to hang out with. Let's check her while we ride Flight of Passage. And Rotter Shrub really isn't our jam. Really, we just kind of enjoy doing it together. And if we can't do it together, it's totally fine. We would rather yeah. just not do it. Well, yesterday when Shep bailed on Millennial Falcon, <laughs> yeah. they were like, bailed. you want a rider spot? I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, I was like, called Jared. I was like, are you sure you don't want to just do it? He was like, no, it's fine. I was like, it's so fun. But he would rather just not do it without it's a fun thing to experience together it's not as fun when you're by yourself but rider swap is great and we do use it every now and then guardians we would definitely rider swap so we are heading out of pandora and we're heading into africa we're about to hop on the safari we've already came had breakfast rode a ride got a drink we've done a lot it's not even nine o'clock yet okay memory sparked they have the sausage, bacon, whatever. They have the sausage biscuits here too. And we forgot that Jared has gotten one from there. But just to go, just to show you that he does like them. Because he liked them, he remembered how much he liked them there. So you can get that and you can get a cinnamon roll. Our next stop is the safari. <laughs> We just got on the safari and our safari guide is great. But there's sadly only around 5,000 black rhino left in the entire world. Hundreds of thousands of rhinos have been slaughtered for their horns. Rhino horn is worth a lot of money on the black market. Being in the area, I'd like to quickly stop by our Safi River. Yeah, they sit back down again. Don't even seem to wake up with all of that going on. Yeah, it's just under the log. Do you see the It's a Nile crocodile. These particular trees are the acacia trees. It is one of the preferred foods of giraffe. It brings them here. Look, he's eating. As we can see. Look! Looking at the trees, you get an idea of how incredibly tall the giraffe on our reserve must deem to 20 hours eating to pack that much food away. Now I've got to tell you, these are not hyenas. It's a common mistake, but hyenas more closely related to cats rather than being dogs like these are. So it turns out they're very curious animals, big trips of people, were ever so interesting. You stop too close, they might come What's investigate, that? which sounds amazing, but uh, don't want them to learn the behavior. It could be injured by the large trucks. Further back, there's a dark brown antelope with a long curved horn. Most people know elephants have been hunted for the ivory in their tusks. Now today, one of the great threats to African elephants is a loss of habitat. Yeah, my job's pretty cool. 
Uh, if you watch the ears move around quite a bit, they can move those ears independently of each other. Rhinos have excellent hearing and a great sense of smell, so it makes up for poor vision. They cannot spot motionless humans just a hundred feet away. So when you see Goofy and Pluto, give them a dino-sized cheer, and then set a course to Dino Land USA. So we're just about to head into Dino Land, and I just remember that Moana has a new home here, and she is what Pocahontas she used to be. So she's just like literally there's the entrance to Dino Land. Okay. And Moana's right here. It's her new home. I'm so happy she's in this park. We have done a little bit this morning. It wasn't, oh, there's just honestly, Shepard loves this park, but I think it's not, it's not growing to be his favorite anymore. I think other ones are kind of taking over. I really think that the kid likes Epcot. <laughs> it's hot. We're gonna try to beat the heat because this park, even though it does have shade, it does get super, super hot. So we're gonna head out and we have really big plans for our next stop. If you watched our last vlog, then you know where we're going. And it's not a place that we typically go. I think we've only shown going there one time ever since we started vlogging nine years ago. Let's go to Typhoon Lagoon. Woo! Water park! Hey y'all, we are in the car and we have our swimsuits on and we are ready to go to Typhoon Lagoon. We went to Typhoon Lagoon a long time ago for my birthday and we were probably here for five minutes and we got rained out. I think we rode two things, no, one thing. We did a lazy river and we yep. rode one more actual like ride. We were with some friends a long time ago and we are so excited to finally get to go to this park. There's clouds in the sky but there's no rain clouds in the sky. Anyways, we're just so excited to finally get to do Typhoon Lagoon, but the thing that makes it even sweeter yep. is that little puppy dog back there. <laughs> Are you so excited? Tired little baby mama. This old Jared all soaking it up. He never sleeps like this on me ever anymore. So Britt handed it to me while I go and she went into the dressing room to get changed out of her wet clothes and I was holding him and he kind of moved his head back and forth a couple times and I felt him put it on my shoulder. 
and my sure enough, out, like he by out. the time Britt came out, he was sound asleep. And Trevor's never been a baby that could transfer, and he like transferred from Garrett to me, and he's about to go back to Garrett. He's like, out. he was like falling asleep, standing up, lost in his diaper on. Like he was like, my baby, you gotta stand up, you gotta stand up, I gotta stand up. <laughs> He's tired. He played so hard right. today. Harder than I think he's ever played his whole life. Well, not only did he play, he swam. And swimming is different than just playing. Yeah. He swam all day. So we're going to wrap it up here. Mm -hmm. We're just going to kind of look around for a second. I just kind of get the dots. And try to familiarize ourselves with this place a little better. Because we haven't really just wandered around. And... Oh, and we updated our um, annual pass to a water park song. So now whoop, we have whoop. a water park ticket pass because we love it. So much and Shepard loved it more than anybody. When I was a kid, water parks were my absolute favorite too. So I'm so glad that like he apparently loves them as well. Uh, you want to grab him so I can go? Yeah. Get shot? <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to Hollywood Studios. We are ending our night at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> We're ending our night here because we have decided that it's finally time. Shepard's finally old enough to be able to sit through and watch Fantasmics. We're meeting Sarah and Peter here again. Today is Teddy's last day to be a baby. He'll always be a baby, but technically he becomes a toddler tomorrow. Tomorrow's his first birthday. Anyways, we decided that this would be how we would celebrate that. And um, so we're they're meeting us here and we're gonna go watch Fantasmic. So it's Sheppy's first time to watch Fantasmic and Teddy's last night to not be a one year old. So we're gonna celebrate in style. Also, wow, I cannot explain to you how We've much better it day. feels right now than it did when we were at Hollywood Studios the other day. Granted, it is eight o'clock, the sun is setting and it just rained. So it, the temperature outside, it feels perfect and it just feels amazing and we're going to watch Fantasmic. It's gonna oh, be a great night. Nine years ago we were here too. Oh yeah nine years ago we were watching Fantasmic. I don't know if I had watched it previously because I had been to Disney World nine years ago today based off of our Facebook memories. <laughs> Jared watched Fantasmic for the very first time celebrating our honeymoon so it's kind of special to turn back around and like nine years later here revisit we are with baby. and watch. Yeah nine years later we're finally back with the baby. Boy isn't it sweet. Anyways we will see you inside the park. All right, y'all, we made it in the park. Sarah and Peter are parking, and look how cute Sheppy is. And on his Mickey Mouse shirt, and with his Mickey Mouse, and his Mickey shorts, and his Mickey shoes, and his black passy, he is ready to see Fantasmic. He took a super hard nap <laughs> in between the water park and here, and I thought, honestly, he was just out for the night. I thought he was just going yeah. to go to sleep. You could be Disney bound in right now as Yoda, or Robin Hood, or Dope. <laughs> but but either way, it's a perfect simple outfit for Disney Bound. You didn't even mean to. There is nothing quite like Hollywood Studios in the evening. It's one of my very favorite places to be at night. Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios are my favorite ambiance park for nighttime. My favorite park to probably like walk around once it finally gets like not hot is Epcot because it's so hot during the day. But this is my favorite gift shop at Hollywood Studios. It's the Five and Dime. It's so cute. They've got so much stuff in here and I always find something good. And a lot of times I can find stuff in here that I can't usually find at other ones. For example, I have not seen this or this. I've seen a couple of the different succulents. I just haven't seen stitches. This is all that like munch, munch lens, munch, you know, that's kind of a hard word to say, but this is all that collection. It's really cute. Good Lord. That is the biggest s'more pillow I've ever seen in my life. Not that I've even seen a s'more pillow, but that's got to be the biggest one. All right, Sarah and Peter are here and we're gonna hop on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway really, really quick because we it's only a 10 minute wait. And so we can run through it really quick before we have to get in line for Fantasmic. They're parking the strollers. Babies are coming out everywhere. I just think it's so sweet that when me and Sarah became friends, we didn't have babies and now we have our hands full with three babies. And I just think Whoa. it's the sweetest thing in the world! This
Oh, and Jared is up there getting us corn dog nuggets because is more they powerful. apparently have them. in the car and it got humid all of a sudden oh my goodness did we miss phantasmic or did we miss phantasmic jared we did miss phantasmic holy moly we did not realize how much we miss phantasmic and how much we love Fant actually let me put you up here okay we just got in the car and we're done with phantasmic and oh my gosh we did not even realize how much we missed phantasmic until we had gone so long without seeing it it has probably been five years since we've fan seen phantasmic it's been a really long time. We definitely haven't seen it since COVID. We haven't seen it since they've added Moana and Frozen 2, which Moana made me cry and Chopper was obsessed with the Frozen part. He loves Frozen so much. It's just a whole lot of emotions because we are just so, so happy to have seen it again. And it was so special for Shepard to be this age to see it for the first time because he really got to enjoy it. And he got to, we got to share that moment with Sarah and Peter who are also very special to us and their little ones. And it was just so sweet. So we are about to head back to the resort. It's our last night at All-Star Movies. We have one more night at Disney. Um, we will not be staying at All-Star Movies. Uh, we're going to check into our favorite resort if you know you know and then we're just gonna probably get a snack tonight and then head back to bed because we've got to get our room packed up and all that so we will see you back and jared is wiping down the whole car the whole car is getting a bath just a stern wheel hey jared want some air yes please <laughs> phantasmic was phantasmic yes it was so good the two parts they added were Superb. They were so good. I'm so glad we went so long without seeing it because I got to really just be obsessed with it all over again. Yeah, yeah. I have a new love for Phantasmic all of a sudden. It like, was, I've always liked it, but I'm just... There were so many parts that were our favorite thing. Like, things that were in the show. You got corn dog nuggets. Shepard got churros. I got a grapefruit beer. A lot of our favorite it things. Everything. Yeah, it was just a good time. It was a good... It was definitely added to the fact that we got to eat corn dog nuggets. Definitely. Me and Shepard were all about that life. So, anyways, everybody is honking. I don't know if y'all can hear, but everybody's car alarm is going off because nobody can find their car right now at Hollywood Studios. So it's like either everybody can't find their car or everybody's just really angry for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's on. Sarah and Peter are in their car. They are actually they checked in tonight with us and they're staying at our hotel in their own room for Teddy's birthday, so they can wake up tomorrow and be on Disney property and head to Magic Kingdom. So we're gonna celebrate with them. <laughs> all right. Um, but so we can all celebrate tomorrow. We're just thankful that they want to celebrate such a sweet moment with us. They want to share that with us. So anyways, 
We're, I need to put my seatbelt on, but we will see you back at All Star Movies.